Good planning is critical for a safe excavation evolution. A little bit of research can save a lot of headaches down the road. Before you start digging, you want to gather as much information as you can. First step is to identify the work area itself. Then you want to identify the area you have available to remove soil for excavation. This will help determine if you need a wide excavation or perhaps a narrow trench. Once you have your work area established, you need to figure out what's down below. So how do we do that? Simple. Call 811, the National Underground Utility number. They will help you identify the underground utility services in your work area. On average, an underground utility is damaged every six minutes for failure to call this number. The Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration says using this number reduces the chance of serious accidents and fatalities by 99%. Important note, the information provided by 811 is usually just up to the user's service connection or meter. After that, it is part of the customer's property and usually not covered by this service. So just because 811 gives you the all clear, it doesn't necessarily mean that there are no services underground. You need to call at least two business days in advance to give the companies time to mark the approximate location of the underground utilities. Now notice I said approximate location because that's what they're doing. This word approximate is important and we'll get back to that later. Surface encumbrances must be identified for removal. Anything on the surface that could be a hazard to employees must be addressed. This could be shrubbery, rocks, debris, structures, anything that could cause a hazard. They must be either removed or supported. Identify any nearby power lines that could be a hazard. If people or equipment will be coming within 10 feet of an energized power line, it needs to either be de-energized, insulated, or made safe by the utility. Are employees gonna be working near vehicle traffic? You will need a traffic control plan and potentially lane closure permits. Water can be a real hassle and a real hazard when performing excavation work. Identify any potential sources of surface and groundwater. Also, check the weather report to see what kind of precipitation you can expect.